Mixing a snare to fit perfectly in the mix is like trying to fit a horse in a car. It's very difficult, but it's not impossible. I'm gonna tell you the most essential snare mixing trick, so write down everything carefully. That way you'll never have a bad sounding snare ever again. Layering sounds is probably the most underrated trick because it can be difficult. Snares use a big part of the frequency spectrum and if you layer it, these frequencies overlap, which means bad sounds. To make sure that doesn't happen, throw an equalizer on the second sample and cut away the lows. Then go to the first sample and cut away a small part of the highs. This will make the highs of the second sample more prominent and it blends it together perfectly. You can also layer other sounds with a snare, for example a percussion. I only want this part of the perk, so I'm gonna take the sample start control and drag it up. Normalize the sample and now it sounds like this. If you play both samples together, the snare will be snappier and it cuts through the mix like it's nothing. Adjusting the transient can make the snare sound 50% better. But what is the transient? It's basically the peak of the sound. Drum sounds reach that peak almost instantly because they are very snappy. With the transient processor you can alter that part of the sample. All you need to do is increase the attack and make it snappier. Another way to do this is by using the fruity limiter. Head over to the compressor and set the threshold to 0 and the ratio to 100. Make the sustain a little longer and increase the attack until you hear it snapping. Now turn down the ratio and increase the gain control. And now the snare cuts through the mix. Using the envelope will help you shape the sound to your beats. Make sure you set the attack to zero because we need that snappiness. Decrease the other controls until the snare sounds to your liking. Giving the snare more space to play in the mix will level up your beats tremendously. Find the fruity stereo enhancer and turn the face a little to the right. This will give you the illusion that two samples are being played simultaneously, which again helps it punch through the mix. Now what is the difference between your beats and the professional ones? Sidechaining the snare with the melody and the bass. But what is sidechaining? It's actually nothing more than cutting away the audio of the melody when the snare plays. Let me show you. Select the snare in the mixer and right click the menu on the melody or the melody bus. Choose sidechain to this track. With that track selected, open up the fruity limiter. Go to the compressor and select snare from the sidechain list. Decrease the threshold and increase the ratio. Then increase the attack and decrease the release a little bit. Now slightly increase the threshold and then decrease the ratio. Play around with both of them. That sounds awesome. Now mixing snares is very important, but it doesn't matter if the rest of your mix sucks. If you don't want that, go check out this quick tutorial where you can learn how to mix your entire beat. Subscribe, gotta go now. Goodbye. <laughs>